All right, well, I think we're live. So good evening and welcome to the River of Calm live streaming concert series. I'm Ed Basil and I'll be your host tonight and you're in for a real treat tonight. So first off, we've got a great looking studio audience today. Can I hear your voices? Yeah. yeah. And we also have our online audience and this camera here, which by the way says camera here for our art <laughs> artists. And uh, we're happy to have them aboard too. So by the way, if you're in our online studio, shout out, let us know where you're coming from, where you're, where you're located around the world. And um, the River of Calm is brought to you, the live streaming concerts brought to you by Miller Piano Specialists. That's Nashville's authorized Yamaha piano dealer. And uh, yeah, that's a big deal. And there's a former Yamaha employee that just retired after 30, how many years? 36 years, wow. And she moved to Franklin to come <laughs> with us. So we're in for a real treat, as I said. This is the River of Calm 10X. And that means you're gonna see, in this one short hour, 10 pianists, each playing one of their favorite thing. And also, you know, like if you're from Nashville, you have the Bluebird Cafe. It's a songwriter's round where you come, the songwriters sit and they share songs and it's uplifting and it's all that, but they have lyrics, we don't, okay? So we're the, we're the Bluebird Cafe of pianists here. All right, so the one thing I want you to notice as we move through this is this is one piano, it has 88 keys, but it's gonna be interpreted 10 different ways. And that's really cool when you can get the vibe of the artists themselves. And the pianists that are here, they're all very gifted and have been on major stages, some on other stages, some playing in hotel bars. Sorry, but, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we're glad to have you all here. Um, before we get going, our online audience, I tell you what, we have the absolute best audio crew here at the River of Calm, but somehow the gods of wireless are, are challenged. So, if you're out in, uh, in online land, just let us know if you can hear us or if it drops out. Um, and no, it's not us. It's just there's so much traffic coming in and out here. It could be trouble. So we're depending on you for that. All right. So I want you to know when you see a pianist and hear him or her that you're li really listening to their personality. And I think the perfect guy to start us off tonight is a pianist friend of ours, which is Corey Levine. Corey, would you like to come up? Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you guys. Step right into the office, and we'll know that we're here not as a competition, but more as a support and love and appreciation of the artists here. So you'll have a real treat listening to Corey here. So Corey, where, tell us about you. Where are you from? Um, I'm from originally at upstate New York. I've been in Tennessee for the 22 years this summer, and I've loved, uh, loved Nashville. It's been a great place. It reminds me a lot of upstate New York, and I love Nashville. It's like a city with a small town flavor to it. Where people are really down to earth, and I uh, still get my change of seasons, and uh, it's been great. And I started piano when I was nine years old. When I first started to play, I had a difficult time reading music, so I learned to play by, uh, learned to play by ear via Suzuki. Then after about a year, after learning to play by year, then I was able to, to read music. Nice. Well, have at it. Let us know Super. what you're going to play. So the song tonight I'm going to play is uh, Riding the Wind. And uh, sometimes when we're going for our goals and dreams of life, sometimes it might be one step forward and then maybe two or three steps back. And sometimes maybe instead of kind of learning to go, you know, running a, against the wind, sometimes we maybe need to, to learn as far as kind of going with the wind. So this is called you know, Riding the Wind.
Well done, Corey. Thank you very much. Now, where can we find your music? Um, you can go to CoreyLevine.com. CoreyLevine.com. I'm repeating this because he doesn't have a microphone on for our online audience, so I'm his interpreter here. Go ahead. And also, you can find the music there on Spotify. You can find it on iTunes, no Pandora. And also, don't forget the river. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Thank Corey. You very much. All right. Keith Tim Anderson, where are you? Corey Levine, ladies and gentlemen. After you. Yeah. So as you can see, it, it's all personality. That's just that one piece of instrument, but it can be interpreted so many different ways. Today we have Keith Tim Anderson with us. Why don't you sit at the mic and talk in the real snazzy microphone there. Check test. Can you hear me out there? Is it working? Yeah. Yeah. All right. That's Good cool. Deal. And then the that online cool. audience can hear too. All right. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, my name is Keith Tim Anderson, and that's a double name, Keith Tim. Um, some people call me Take KT. Um, I am a singer and a songwriter and a solo piano composer of late. Um, I've composed solo piano music for a long time, actually, but I haven't recorded anything until just last, uh, a year ago this last October, um, just kind of entered the solo piano world. So I'm just really happy to be here at, with River of Calm. They invited me to be part of, mm -hmm. Ed did, invited me to part of, be part of River of Calm, and I'm just really happy um, that you included me. Thank you. So how, where, what's your hometown, by the way? My hometown is um, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Altoona, actually, but Eau Claire is mm -hmm. the bigger city that people would know. And when did you start so, piano? I started um, playing piano, I was probably six years old, I no think. No kidding. I think, yeah, my mom's gave me my first piano lessons, mm -hmm. um, and it was before we moved, so I think it was when we moved when I was six or seven, I think seven, so I think I was five or six when I first started with my mom. Nice. Yeah. All right, so what are you playing tonight? Well, I'm going to play a song um, called Photographs, and Photographs is one of the first songs that um, I've composed and recorded, um, one of the first albums that I, that I wrote for this album. And it basically, um, when I think of this song, I, I think of, of, well, photographs and the piano, um, a piano obviously is, doesn't even have words to bring forth memories, um, it just has the music, and, and much less it doesn't have a camera either. So why a song called Photographs? Well, my hope is that when people hear this song, that they will kind of go through the the memories in their mind that they, maybe photographs they have taken or photographs that they wish they could have taken as they think back over their lives, the moments in their lives that, that, that might have been photographic or they just wish they could, could just see it again. Um, but hopefully this song will bring forth some of those memories for, for you all. Nice.
Beautiful. Beautiful. Well done. All right, where can we find your music? Hang on a second. Sorry. Um, you can find the music at keithtim.com or keithtimanderson.com. I got both of them. Great job. As far as my personal music, but we can also find it on River of Calm um, <clears throat> and a bunch of other artists' music. Absolutely. And uh, where else can we find it? Spotify mm -hmm. and iTunes, Amazon. Keep on doing what you're doing. That's a beautiful song. Well, thank you. Keith Tim Anderson, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. All right, but before we bring up our next artist, we have been sponsored by Miller Piano Specialists. That's Nashville's authorized Yamaha piano dealership. And if you're in the Music City here, that's a big deal. So we have with us the general manager of Miller Piano Specialist, Sherry Carlisle Smith. Sherry, come on up. Hey, Ed. Good to see you, darling. Good to see you, too. Thank you. You so can find my music at Goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally, my album was on Goodwill a few weeks ago. Okay, <laughs> no yeah. problem. All right, so you, we're here. We've got 10 pianists. What are we playing tonight? We are playing on the Supreme Yamaha. Let me hear it out there tonight. Whoa, yeah. Yeah. It, if you have played the Conservatory Series, it is wonderful. The C-Series uh, Yamaha CX. We now, um, and we have had three of these, they go out like hotcakes. This is our set, S, six, S, X. I have to get this right. S, six, S, X, X, X. Ah, come on, help me out here. Yeah. Um, it is awesome. They have changed four or five things in the piano that's just a little bit different. And I think the players, everybody that's coming in here is letting us know the feel and the touch and how different it is and how it just molds to you. So congrats Yamaha for another great product. And we're proud to be the authorized dealer at 650 Fraser Drive, Franklin, Tennessee, Miller Piano Specialist. And the website is? Uh, MillerPS.com. And I'd like to say through the 29th, we still have the Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year going on, compliments of Yamaha Corporate. And you can get up to $1,000 on instruments just like Get this. out of here. <laughs> nice. So you've only got a few days, hours. You need to come and see this group down here. Sounds good. We're fun. All right. Thank you thank so you. much for having and us. And a big happy birthday to Black Diamond Culinary back there. Put your hands together for Chris McCorkle. Yes. It's her birthday today. Yes, yes. it is. And she's going to come up here in just a minute. But first, we're going to have come up another wonderful artist. Kim, good to see you. You, you sit down and talk. And so, Chris, we'll get to you in a minute. This is Kim Deerdorf. Kim, Kim has an amazing touch, you'll find. It's, I, the, yeah, you do it. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Kim. Well, th thank you, Ed. This is a wonderful evening. It's amazing to be here with all these incredible artists. Um, I came from a, a hometown. My original hometown was in Korea. I actually was found in the garbage in Korea and taken to an orphanage. I was adopted and I grew up in a small town in Michigan out in the middle of nowhere with no radio or no TV, just an out of tune piano. And so we had about 10 or 12 records in the, in, the, in the house at the time and I started playing melodies off records when I was three. And it was wow. one of the, uh, our records were m mainly religious and, and uh, in nature. And uh, I found the beauty of the piano to really uh, uh, find peace in my life and help me con connect with with God that that I feel like had his hand out over my life and um, so I, I was going to play an original but I hope you don't mind I'm going to play a song that I had uh, learned when I was younger and it's an it's an arrangement of a hymn I do a lot of hymn arrangements and it's called the love of God and um, anyway I hope you uh, I hope you enjoy it Thank you.
Oh, yeah. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Hang on. Well done. Oh, thank, thank you. All right, where can we find your music? Um, you can find it at mystorykim.com. I just want to say real quick, um, I just partnered with the adoption agency that saved my life in Korea. And tonight is my first time I, I'm sharing this uh, with you is... Um, I'll be giving away free CDs. Uh, I, I enrolled in a sponsorship artist program with Holt International, and if you're ever if you're inclined to sponsor a child, um, I'm giving away some free CDs if you want to take advantage of that opportunity. And it's back on the uh, on the table. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much. You. Beautiful, beautiful. Wow. You can tell he's got such a, a, a spiritual style, kind of like Anthony Berger, or a number of gospel pianists kind of dancing in there. Just really well done. Wow. Now, before we get to our next artist, if you're in the Nashville studios, which you can't see online, um, we have treats. We have gourmet treats, gourmet hors d'oeuvres, if you caught them in the back, by Chris McCorkle at Black Diamond Culinary. Is Chris, are you coming up today to say hi? Yeah, come on up here. So it's a real cool thing she does, and she's opening a culinary facility here, which should be just about open. She's coming up from the back, the way back of the audience there. We have like thousands in the audience. <laughs> Chris, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening to you, and um, tell us a little bit about what you brought today. So today we brought meatballs in a sweet chili sauce and cream puffs with chocolate cream filling. Oh, that again. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Now tell us about Black Diamond Culinary and your, your opening. So tell us what's going on. Yes, Black Diamond Culinary. We've been in the process the last four months doing a kitchen build out. We can teach people up to 20 in our classes. And we'll be teaching all kinds of beautiful foods, making homemade pastas, dinners, wine pairings. We also bought a beautiful piano right here at Miller's Piano. So you can have dinner and a concert. Nice. Very cool. And your website... Yeah is blackdiamondculinary.com Chris McCorkle, you're our hero and it's her birthday today. Thank you so much. Uh-huh. So that's the benefits of showing up at a River of Calm concert live. Definitely so. All right, so we have next a wonderful performer, Kendra. Why don't you have a seat with us? Kendra's here with her husband and their daughter. Uh, they're all, two of them are pianists. The daughter we're still going to see about. That, that might take some time. But Kendra, tell us a little bit about you. Thanks. Ed. Thanks for From Austin, Texas. I'm originally from Rockport, Texas, down by Corpus Christi. Mm -hmm. And we're here, we love the people and the community and have friends here who surprised us. We didn't realize they were coming, so just excited to be here. Nice. And how long have you been playing the piano? Since I started when? when I was 12 years old. Nice. Very cool. And what are you going to play for us tonight? I'm going to play a song called Remember, and this song is dedicated to um, people who are taking care of Alzheimer's and dementia patients because I have some dear friends whose parents are going through um, those illnesses, and it's it's really it's it's really hard for the patients, but it's I think the most hard for their families. And that's the song is uh, a celebration of them, but also uh, a way to commemorate the grief that they're going through. Well done. All right, the stage is yours.
Oh, that's really the meaning behind the song is really touching and it comes through with your emotions. So where can we find your material? Uh, KendraLogazar.com or Spotify, Pandora, iTunes, soon to be on the River of Calm. <laughs> and that's L-O-G-O-Z-A-R, KendraLogazar.com. Wonderful. Thank you, Ed. Thank you. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> Got a young pianist there, 10 years old, so he's taking notes, man. Yeah. All right, so taking notes. A couple of things. Um, uh, it's, we're an online streaming radio station. And we have listeners in about 168 countries right now. We have 112 independent artists on here, including the artists that you're hearing tonight. And also, even people that have been won Grammy Awards, people that are powerful Hollywood agents, but don't want you to know who they are. And uh, it's a pretty cool thing. And um, when Kendra was speaking of Alzheimer's, we have a website that has numerous, numerous articles on Alzheimer's and music, dementia, PTSD, uh, depression, chemotherapy, it's a really intense uh, amount of research that we're putting into this. And uh, we even have, I'll, I'll mention another thing in just a minute though. That I guess there comes a time when I have to play the piano also. So, uh, Two notes, and if any of them are wrong, just call it jazz, okay? And I got this covered. So uh, it's an honor to be here with the artists. I'm telling you what, I admire each and every one of them, to say the least. My name is Ed Basil. My hometown is Huntington, West Virginia. It's where I grew up. Yeah, hometown peeps in there. And uh, I started piano when I was five because. My sister was already taking lessons, and my mom figured if she dumped me off too, she'd get an hour of free time. <laughs> she was a smart girl, I'm telling you that. All right, so let me play a little something for you. Thank you. Uh, I wrote that back in 1903. <laughs> but what, what I'm here for today is uh, in 2020, I'll have a new CD coming out, and it's called Homecoming. And this song is called I Remember, and this will be on the, on the uh, CD. So let's see if we can dial this in.
Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, one thing I want to mention with the River of Calm is we have a new project coming up with headphones with chemotherapy and bringing them in. And we have a guest in the audience who is instrumental in helping us push this forward. He, his name is Jeff Barnes, and he's back there. He's with the Barnes Agency, a premier healthcare PR and advertising firm. So for all the artists that are here that are on the headphone project, this guy's helping us, okay? So let's give a round of applause. All right, so we've talked about headphones. We've talked about calming music, videos, iTunes, Spotify, all that site. Health and healing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get to our next pianist. And that's a wonderful pianist who's from the area here, and that is Philip Wesley. Philip? Oh, yeah. ah, how about that? Come on out, sit at the piano, okay? Thank you for coming and being joining us. Thanks for having me, Ed. Absolutely. Tell us, where are you from originally? I'm from a little town called St. Louis, Missouri, but I've been in Nashville for about 14 years almost. Nice. Very cool. And when did you start playing? started playing music when I was 16. Um, started playing guitar at 16, and I switched to the piano at 20. Nice. Cool. And I'm 22 now. Excellent. <laughs> You're looking damn good, too, I'm telling you. <laughs> All right, so what are you going to play for us today? Uh, I'm going to do one of my favorites. It's called Light and Shadow. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 
Wow, beautiful, beautiful. Got to ask you, that's wonderful. Where can we find your music or where can't we find your music? Well, it's, you know, pretty pretty much all the usual sus suspects online. Uh, philipwesley.com and, of course, Pandora, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon. Pretty much everywhere online. Yeah. They already know that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. Philip, thank you so much. There you go. Thank you so much. Beautiful. Appreciate that. That's a, that's a real treat. He's sold like about six billion records throughout his career so far. So he's, that's a real treat to have him here. Before we bring up our next artist, just a reminder, if you don't know, The River of Calm is on Amazon or Alexa, open The River of Calm. If you, if you were just getting started, you would say, Alexa, enable The River of Calm. And it can do that. Literally, we have listeners around the world, and we are on iPhone and Android and yeah, all that stuff too. So we've got that for you. But what we also have is a pianist who moved here from Austin, Texas, who happens to be, re be related to Kendra Logosar, and that's her husband, Michael Logosar. Come on up. All right. Thank, you, Ed. Thank you. Have a seat. Glad that you could make it here. Now tell us a little bit about yourself, Michael. Well, Into the microphone if you can. That is a really cool microphone. Yeah, really no like kidding. It. Uh, well, I was born in uh, Alberta, Canada. I lived there for half my life and then moved down to Texas. Um, and then my wife and I came here from Texas just this summer. Mm. Nice. And how long, when did you start playing piano? Uh, my parents tell me I was picking out melodies when I was about four and they put me in lessons probably when I was six or seven. Nice. Yeah. Very cool. And what are you going to play for us tonight? Well, given it was uh, Valentine's Day this month, I'm going to play a little love song called Two Hearts. Nice. Thank you. 
Beautiful, beautiful. Notice how he coaxed out that emotion just with a minimal notes. That was beautiful. Thank you. Where can we find your stuff? MichaelLogozar.com. L-O-G-O-Z-A-R. <laughs> if you can spell my name, you can, you can listen to it. Uh. <laughs> really well done. Thank you, Michael. Appreciate it. All right. All right. Well, we're moving right along here. And then this guy shows up all of a sudden. This guy, I actually, he was one on our first River of Calm live stream concert almost two years ago. He was brave enough to try it. So his name is Kirk Dearman. Kirk, welcome. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. And tell us, where are you from originally? Originally from Beaumont, Texas, but I've been in Nashville for the last 16 years. And uh, so Nashville is considered my, my hometown now. Nice. Yeah. And you were not only a pianist, but you're also a songwriter, too. Yes. And you had some success. Uh, a bit. Yeah. A little okay. bit. All right. That's all we're going right now? <laughs> we're doing modest success, right? Yes. Okay. We'll Google him. You'll find out. <laughs> yeah. All right. So when did you start playing? When I was five. Nine. I was mysteriously drawn to a piano. It was My sister started playing before I did, and mm -hmm. I was just drawn to the piano and crawled up on the bench and started playing by ear and started taking lessons shortly thereafter, and my sister quit because she couldn't play by ear and got mad at me. So <laughs> You showed her, didn't you? I did. <laughs> Been playing by ear ever since. Nice. Now, what are you going to play for us tonight? Uh, it's an original composition called Love Steps Back in Time, and I want to dedicate it to my... One of my grandsons, Zade. Zade, wave your hand. He's a, yeah. He's a young pianist. He's a wonderful, budding uh, pianist composer. So I dedicate this to you. Nice.
Bravo. Okay, where can we get more about you? KirkDearman.com, and I'm uh, on River of Calm, and Spotify, and iTunes, and where is the other? Uh, Pandora, yeah. Very beautiful work. Thanks for being here with us. Great to see you again. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thank you. Kirk Dearman, ladies and gentlemen. And as the guy up here announcing, I have to look at the names because we have Kim Deerdorf and Kirk. Kirk Dearman, <laughs> really close to, I don't want to get those, yeah, there, there you go, exactly, all right, the next guy we have up, uh, he's a real slacker as a pianist, he's worked for Neil Sadaka for 37 years so far as his pianist, and he's a wonderful guy, Eric Bikalis, please come on up, head on over there, you're in the hot seat now. Speaking to that microphone, do you like that microphone? Uh, okay, can, can everybody hear me? It's, it's actually his microphone, so that's <laughs> why. I'm, well, Eric, thanks for being here. What's your hometown? Um, my hometown is Kansas City. Nice. I'm originally from there, and I grew up there, started piano when I was maybe six years old. Wow. And uh, continued and sort of peaked career-wise when I was 11, and I've just been <laughs> kind of drawing it out since then. Good. Still mil milking it for all it's worth. <laughs> yes. Excellent. So what are you playing for us tonight? I'm going to do a tune called Kansas Wind. After you, sir.
Wow, look at that. Eric by Kalis. Great job. Now, tell me, was that's off of one of your past projects. You have a new CD just released. This is actually on the new CD, and the best place to get it is right here because at we have copies of it. At the merch table back there, right. along with the other artists, too. <laughs> and where can we find your music? Well, okay, it's uh, www.ericbykalis.com, which is, I'm sure is no surprise. And um, then it's, you know, you can find it in all the usual places as of maybe a week from now. Nice. So it's kind of hot off the press right now. Very cool. Well, thank you for being here. Beautiful job. Thank you, buddy. All right. All right. We're moving right along here. By the way, Eric Vicalis wrote these secret sheets. If anyone's brave enough to come up <laughs> after our last pianist, I think a couple of them are going to get together and play something or another following this guideline. I'm not. Um, <laughs> Um, one thing I want to mention about the River of Calm is we actually have a podcast, we're on our 20th now, called Beyond the Music, where numerous artists from the River of Calm are on a podcast, and you can learn more about them and their stories. Everyone comes from a different place. And uh, what was it? That there, was, there was a great quote. Hans Christian Andersen said, where words fail, music speaks. And I think you've seen an example tonight of all different types of interpretations of the piano. And our last pianist tonight is a guy named Dane Bryant. And Dane's job tonight is to play every one of our songs back to us, <laughs> if he can. No. Well, he'll come up anyways and give it a try. And by the way, I see a young music agent, up and coming music executive, Trevor Barnes from Nashville's here too. Thanks for coming along with us. All right. So Dane, come on up here. I won't bite. <laughs> Now, as your agent, I can tell you, have a seat with us, okay? He's kind of shy and humble. He's played with Tanya Tucker. He's played 20 years with Clint Black. He's Olivia Newton-John's musical director and pianist. And that's on Mondays. Now, on Tuesdays, yeah. welcome, Dane. Tell us about yourself. What, where's your hometown? Uh, Bristol, Virginia. Uh, Bristol, Tennessee, really. Yeah, it's uh -huh. the birthplace of country music, for those of you who are aficionados. And your grandparents? Well, actually, my great uncles uh, were the Jimmy Rogers entertainers. And if you follow the uh, Ken Burns documentary on country music, that's the beginning of country music. So even though he looks Hawaiian. <laughs> I know. It's a long story. Yeah. <laughs> so when did you start playing? Uh, the summer before college, music school. That's right. And you, you were terrified to go to music school. Yeah, very. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Kind of fake my way through it, but... Wow. How's that working out for you? <laughs> I'm still learning. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get it right one of these days. All right. So what are you going to play for us tonight? I've been going back and forth on, on a couple of things. Um, That's a neat, nice song lyric or title. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. that would be. Let's <laughs> yeah. do that now. Um, I'd like to do a little bit of a quote of a, of a Harold Arlen tune, which I'm sure you all are familiar with, and go to into another tune called... Um, I don't know. I'll come up with it here in a minute. It's, it's between two songs. It's either going to be Glad to Be Here or it's going to be a tune called Hopscotch, which I've never played in public before. So uh, No pressure. <laughs> it's, a little bit, it's a little bit different from... It's, it's a different pace, shall we say, but it's, it's, uh, it's childlike, shall we say. Awesome. It's, it's when I uh, wrote for my kids about 30 years ago when they were toddlers, so now I'm, uh, I'll send this one out to my grandchildren. So. You have I the can get through this song, but Eric, you mind if I use? Thank you, <laughs> Thank you sir.
tasty music. Wow. Beautifully done, Dane. Wow. Now, yeah, right here. Yeah. Tell us where we can find your stuff. Only on River of Calm. I love this guy. I love him. <laughs> and Dane Bryan Music. Dane Bryan, Dane Bryan Music .com, um, and all the Spotify and the iTunes, the whatever, the, all the other stuff. Is. Nice. And he's got, uh, he's a highly in-demand studio session player here in Nashville, too. He's very humble about what he does, but beautiful work. And will you be the guy that can figure out this magic thing between you and Eric Bicalis? Is this what we're supposed to jam on? Yes. Oh, okay. Why don't you sit there? <laughs> yes, I got it. You sit there. Eric, where's Eric by Kalis? We'll see if we can have something special, some spontaneous combustion here. And while they're doing that, I do want to thank a few people. First off, I want to thank you guys in the studio audience for coming out on such a uniquely weathered challenge day and night <laughs> from far and wide. So thank you for that. Our online viewers, that's where the camera sign is there, in case you want to wave. Uh, thank you for being online and, and supporting us here. i got to thank all these pianists. You come on up and do your stuff again. Um, Corey Levine, Keith Tim Anderson, Kim Deerdorf, Kendra Logazar, Philip Wesley, Michael Logazar, Kirk Dearman, Eric Bicalis, and Dane Bryant. I also want to thank, this is again a big team effort, Miller Piano Specialist, Ross and Sylvia Miller and Sherry Carlisle Smith for hosting us here. Heck yeah. Um, with our team, we also have Kim Monterey Lacoste, who does our social media posts with all the articles. She actually lives in the Northeast, so she's not here tonight, but she does a great job for us. Chris McCorkle, Black Diamond Culinary, wherever you are, there you are. Thank you so much for some wonderful treats. We also have a beautiful audio guy who knows, has been with the major leagues. Gus Lux is in, in the back handling our audio. <laughs> De Dakota Smith, our video. And if you like the River of Calm, we're a grassroots effort. Please like and share it with your people. Somebody you know probably is a little stressed out and might need a little relaxation. That, that's how this whole thing got started. So with that, they're calling plays in the background, okay? So, a picture? Oh, photographer, this guy. This guy has done more for us. I'm telling you what. Do you want to, where can we find your work? I'm retired. Okay. At I'mretired.com, uh, you'll see his work. Thank you so much. She's related to Sherry Carlisle Smith. He, she's... He's her father-in-law, so she's got to toe the line right now, because you've got your eyes on her, right? All right, well, thank you so much for that. Um, again, thank you all for being a part of this. I'm going to turn this over to you two. You're going to come up with a plan, and let's just see what you do, okay? Talk about being on the spot. Absolutely. <laughs> a little louder, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah.
That's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh. That was called P.F. Chang's, yeah, well, that's beautiful. That's where you see really two pros in action there. I think that was a great way to end things. So again, on behalf of every one of these artists here, thank you so much for being a part of the River of Calm community. My name's Ed Basil, I've been your host. It's a pleasure and may the calm be with you. Good night, bye.